Well, I want to call attention to this product. I got it because I think it's a great idea. It's um, it's their nickel um, metal hydride, excuse me, metal hot nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries, which as you if you don't know, um, the nickel metal hydride batteries uh, need to be, will have a discharge after a period of time. So a lot of times you don't want to use those if you throwing them in a flashlight and you're letting its flashlight sit someplace. So what I did is these are nickel cadmium batteries. I got these in both the mag lights. Now there's other things I've done and I tell you I spent some money on this but I think the investment is going to be great because it's like once you pay the money up front you're not going to have to buy batteries or flashlights or any gimmicks and these are pretty much just simple flashlights with no electronic crazy switches on them or anything but um, the nickel the nickel cadmium batteries have a very low self discharge rate but um, they're not they don't store as much energy but they'll work pretty good I think in uh, a flashlight especially like a D cell flashlight it's like these are big batteries they got a lot of storage capacity in them so if I'm using my mini mag light though which I upgraded the bulb on it. It's like very powerful, man. I just couldn't believe this bulb is astronomically more powerful. It's an LED bulb, um, and it still probably draws pretty low electricity. It probably draws a very low current because it's LED and electronic. But I did not want to use um, the nickel cadmium batteries, and if I use the uh, nickel metal hydride batteries like these, these are stronger. But if you let them sit around a real long time, they start losing some of their power. So they got this product out. These are more money. And I just I got four of them because that's all I all need. You know, I got two in a flashlight, two on standby. Uh, these are our AA nickel metal hydride batteries that are very low self-discharge. You can let them sit around for a year and they still got like, I think it's 85, 90% of their power. It's like and when you get them you don't have to charge them up because um, the shelf life is that damn long and they still have a lot of power in them. In other words these have more than twice the reserve power as nickel cadmium batteries easy so that's good good feature because you know I'm showing this by an engine and you know actually I did watch something on Scotty Kilmer I'll give him a plug I like that guy the mechanic I watch his stuff once in a while he was talking about uh, having an LED light to his battery working on the engine but I have I happen to like the Stanley light and that's rechargeable and I like this little mini mag light now because it's so small and now I got rechargeable batteries for it that are really strong that have a low plus have a low self discharge rate I like this for working on the uh, outside here a lot at night and I really don't use I use the drop light once in a while to kind of over light something give it an overall lighting but I wind up using this a lot <laughs> and having a rechargeable batteries that I could recharge a thousand times with a Bedini charger um, you know the problem is this stuff costs money um, that's really some of the disadvantage I guess if you buy a little piece here and there the Bedini charger I like a lot I got the car charger um, I just topped off this battery again with this thing uh, this thing actually does put a nice stronger charge into the battery and um, but I also have the universal charger that does these double A batteries it'll do the um, the 18 volt batteries in a, in a drill It'll do, you know, these D-cell batteries, 9-volt batteries, it does everything. I'm using the damn thing every freaking day, man, because I use the uh, Power Zapper products. I'll be using these batteries. I'm using the camera batteries. Um, and But, you know, once I invested into this stuff, it's like, you know, you freaking, it's going to be going for many, 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 many years, and you'll recover the cost. It's just like the way everything is, so... But I think these are a very, very, very good idea, especially for flashlights that, um, you know, you, you don't really use a, I use a flashlight quite a bit because I use it like a drop light, like Scotty Kilmer was talking about. I just saw his video, but I was I was planning on doing this anyway, so I mean, cause I was like, God, man, that's so weird. I'm not copying a guy. He had a good idea, though. He had, if you want to look at his thing, he had to worry. 
he made an LED drop light with a couple alligator clips to uh, the battery, the big battery, which is, is a smart idea in itself. But um, I like using these things because I have the rechargeables. And uh, with that Bedini battery charger, I will get a thousand recharges out of it. And when you're figuring a thousand recharges, even if you recharge the battery every two weeks, that's about 38 plus years. Um, and you're figuring, I got two sets of batteries. You know, if I'm recharging this one every two weeks, and I'm recharging that one every two weeks, um, and I'm rotating them, and maybe, you know, it's not every two weeks. It's like every two weeks I have to recharge batteries or something for the flashlight, one of the flashlights. It's like, I got it the last centuries for crying out loud. You know what I mean? Theoretically, <laughs> I don't know, kind of, well, by last centuries, but. Uh, yeah, the technology's out there, and it's like cheap to. Um, let me let me show you also the uh, Bedini Universal charger I got, which does these. It'll do the double A's, it'll do the the D cells, it'll do all kinds of stuff. Uh, Nine volt batteries, you name it. Um, I love that thing, man. It's great. And this thing works great too, man. It's like a very small five amp per hour. So I'm glad I invested in these products. And you know, I know I'm not plugging anything. I don't work for these guys or nothing. But I'm telling you, people that are buying Christmas gifts out there, uh, you should be buying some more practical stuff like this versus uh, some of the stupid stuff that people buy. <laughs> you know, um, because uh, you know this is like plain Jane simple stuff. Uh, there's nothing really electronic like these mag lights. There's nothing like these are old. This one's from the '80s. This is like one of the first mag lights. <laughs> You can see I replaced the lens on it with a blue one. This is from the 90s. Uh, and I used to use this on my bicycle a lot. That's why it has this on there, because it was on there with a radiator clamp. I used to use it as, as the headlight. It worked, it outlasted, it worked It worked flawlessly. Always the, pe the bicycle headlights always broke. I had the mag light on it. So tell me, you know, I bought this in the 80s when it first came out, I think. Um... Or maybe it was the early 90s. No, I think it was, eight, it was the 80s. It was the 80s. It was the 80s. And this thing, I've had this since the 90s. And not even the late 90s. So, I mean, you know, sometimes some of these things are freaking really super practical, right? That's what I'm saying. So let me show you that Bedini charger. I've heard that, uh, at least from the manufacturer, that one's been extremely reliable, the universal charger, and I've been using it quite a bit because I don't just use it on the flashlight batteries, I use it on the camera batteries, I use it on the power zapper batteries, I use it on the drill battery, it just charged up the drill battery just an hour ago, so I was using it for, um, what the hell was I using it for, I was using it for something, um, something with the Christmas lights or something, so anyway, let me show you that. Yeah, this is the uh, uh, Bedini battery charger. Um, I love this thing. Actually, this is where I'm charging up the uh, AA batteries for the other camera, and I've just used it to charge up these, um, like it's on a different setting. I put it on a number on the setting, this number 7, and I used it to charge up for this Dewalt drill I was using last night. So like on this one, it's on setting 2, but I gotta tell you, one of the problems is where people aren't buying these. these are, this is 300 bucks plus $30 shipping and handling. Um, but it's been out for eight years and it's a proven product. But I've been using the hell out of it, and you know I figure it's it, it already it already did fix uh, an electric razor that um, I, I know the discount price is one hundred forty seven dollars on that. It fixed it by fixing the batteries inside of it. I've been using it every day now. I used to love that thing. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't charge. It, the batteries were screwed up or something, and I was like. I just took the cover off the electric razor and I used this and until the green light came on and when I used the razor it was fine now I've been using this to charge up the electric razor I've just been um, using the regular charger it's been using it every day it's great and like with this I already have it marked at the right setting plus and minus which this means this is the first one's plus the second one's minus so I know it's one to where it's connected um, I have not gotten the uh, batteryizer product yet and um, I don't really care you know like I'm not gonna get all bent out of shape when it comes in or not or if it doesn't comes in because uh, 
Originally, it was slated to be out in September, and then they said they're shooting for November. Um, I don't think people of that caliber to have 500 patents to their name that are PhDs are out to defraud the public. And they're not looking for donations. Those are actually product orders. So um, there's going to be something that's going to happen one way or the other. Um, the problem is with this technology is the cost. Um, $300 for this, um, plus shipping. The other device for the batteries, for the car battery, was 100 47 or 49 plus shipping um, then these batteries are more money than regular batteries um, that type of stuff so you know where the batteryizer are you paying um, I think it's two dollars and fifty cents each for a four pack and ten dollars plus shipping you know it's a it's a you know I think that's a major threat to the battery industry right off the bat because most people won't go and do this with this what I'm doing right here this could actually cut down battery sales like to a trickle uh, the batteryizer if it does like a miniature jewel thief um, which is what I suspect it does um, I look at the financial angle on that because I think that the financial angle is not there for people of their caliber to uh, cheat <laughs> as, as they're being accused of by various bloggers and commenters on the internet um, people of that caliber for four hundred thousand dollars split amongst a, a dozen engineers and owners and stuff would not freaking go for that kind of money it'd have to be like at least 40 million or something you know not four hundred thousand I mean that's peanuts after you freaking take out the expenses and you divide it up a million different ways but technology is already here that you can actually um, obliterate most of the battery companies if you invest in the right type of batteries in the get-go and you invest in the right charger because 90 percent of the time I'll say well I don't know what the percentage is but most of the time these battery chargers even the ones from Energizer and all this kind of crap they will kill your batteries man they overcharge them that's and um, we're not doubt they're in cahoots with the battery companies or especially when the battery company selling you the charger and I do not use the charger that comes with this Dewalt drill. I use this. This this thing should last me. I got a couple of those and a bunch. I got loads of these, loads of these. Um, they should last me hundreds of years, actually. <laughs> you know. Um, so, and you know, every time you go to the store, you spend ten bucks here, ten bucks there, ten bucks there. Yeah, this will pay for itself. It's already fixed a $147 um, electric razor due to the batteries being screwed up inside of it. And that was in my case. And that's $147 for the discount price. I don't even know what the real ta real, uh, retail price. That's a Remington. And it fixed another electric razor that was a cheapie that was like 50 bucks. It had like one battery and it fixed that one. So really paid for itself practically already I've only owned this product about a month so there you go